Hi guys, just thought I'd give an update on uh, some new acquisitions and a project that I've finished. So on Thursday we had a trip down to Keithley in Yorkshire. Got a Union grinder. Still works, all um, wooden pulleys, but turns freely. So hopefully that one just needs a clean up and a repaint and then uh, get a belt on it. It should hopefully work. Uh, the main reason I went down was for the drill. Um, no maker's mark on that one. No idea how it actually works, um, but it seems okay. There are a few things missing on it. Uh, there's a threaded hole at the top there with nothing in. Several holes with nothing in. Uh, the lever for the table to rise and fall is missing but other than that and um, the tension that pulleys need a new shaft made because that's bent but other than that it should be all right the um, shifting mechanism is there but the forks have been snapped off so we'll need to come up with something so we can shift the belts on it but the castings seem fine it's just really rusty completely seized um, do a good little restoration project hopefully and um, get that going and get, a, get some sort of shaft in and some belt running and fingers crossed that will be the first tool running on it and because it was there I bought a second grinder um, as you can see the whole left hand side is pretty much gone but I bought that one because there's a South Bend book, uh, project book on how to machine a some castings that they provided for um, that sort of style of grinder so I thought it would be a good donor to go through that book as a project and see if we can get that one back up to speed so I recently finished the tea caddy build from semester 2 of the hand tool school that's run by Shannon Rogers I'll put a link down in the description uh, so this was the second semester which focuses on mouldings and curve work. So it's mahogany, top and base moulding. The middle, it was supposed to be mahogany, or at least it was sold as mahogany. Um, I'm not sure really what that wood is in the middle, but this was all made from a reclaimed um, sort of 1930s drop leaf tabletop. So we've got a nice, nice handle on top got a locking mechanism it's got a nice simple fillet um, molding on bottom a nice cove and fillets and a round over on the top complete mare to making this wood it wasn't the um, best green direction for cutting mouldings but we got there so if you open the case We've got a nice some um, Japanese book binding paper in the top. Uh, Horton hinges. Uh, it's a hard maple base, and the finish on this is three coats of Danish oil on the outside, then two coats of shellac, and three coats of Alfie Shine Renaissance style wax. Um, to just give it that bit of shine and on the inside I just used two coats of shellac just to seal the wood because I didn't want the um, the smell of the oil getting into any tea bags or anything that was stored in there on the side here we've got a sliding compartment which slides up and comes off and then inside you've got your little drawer so nice felt um, lining and some spoons so that is what I've been working on lately it's finally finished um, got a nice shot of the grain on the sliding door there um, so yeah it's taken me seven months to get that made um, so I'm just waiting to hand that over to the person it's going to and then I can crack on starting to work and plan on the new sofa build which will be a prairie style settle so that's it for now 
um, and hopefully I'll have something up when I start the next project.